Hi, I'm Sandy from Buble Arts Dolls and we are going to make the hair for our Teen Boy doll. I'm using this yarn, it's 100% acrylic, a high bulk yarn and it's not twisted as you can see. It looks like uh, if it was merino wool but it's not, it's 100% acrylic. You can also find this kind of yarn in wool, obviously it's more common to be found in wool. You can use it as well. I prefer acrylic for the hair of my dolls because I don't I'm not sure about the consistency of wool for hair. So uh, the thing with this yarn is you can use it for short hair, maximum medium hair because as you can see here if I pull a long um, segment of the yarn it breaks. So it can keep its consistency only if it's used like in in short lengths. This yarn, of course, um, I'm cutting here to show you. Like if I keep, for example, this length, I can pull it, and it's not breaking. So just consider that you can use it only for short and medium hairs. Um, is this yarn is really useful because it uh, you can avoid the step of brushing the hair. So let's start. Just measure the length of the hair and double it like this. Of course, I am taking like um, so longer yarn that I need because I I like to to have extra material to make the hair cut later. You can make it a um, little bit shorter than this. This is about um, six inch. Wrap it around an object. In this case, I'm using a notebook. Wrap it as many times as you need to cut all the strands of hair and cut it in one side like this. So there you have your hair pieces. Now let's see how to attach it to the head. Thread a needle with sewing thread in the color of your yarn and make a knot at the end. Mark the area for the hair on the head of your doll. Just follow the, the shape of the rows at the top and the sides of the head. Try to be the most symmetrical as you can and draw also around the ears and go down and draw the baseline on the back of the head. So we are going to fill all that space with her. And to start, just uh, secure the knot first in the back of the head. Don't worry about that knot because of course, obviously we are going to cover it with her. So no problem for that and take the needle out on the place you are going to start. In this case is at the base line of the hair on the back of the head here in this corner. Now for this technique we are going to take a piece of hair and fold it and in the middle point of it we are going to stitch it to the head uh, us using obviously the going through the stitches of the head and adding one piece of hair after another making lines of hair. So here I am stitching the first one. It's important to pull the thread really tight so the hair will be well secured to the head and just keep adding pieces of hair in this way. I'm going to make the baseline first. But what I want to show you here is how um, strong is this technique. And most of all, most important that um, I, I love for short hair is that we don't have any knot on the roots of the on the hair. It looks like it comes naturally out of the scalp of your doll. So 
to start my next line I'm going to go under the first line and take my needle in the next line of hair. In this case I am jumping one line of stitches because this yarn is really bulky and this time I'm going to work obviously to the other side filling that line. So take a piece of hair, put it over the thread and give a stitch under the piece of hair like this. This is going to grab the piece of hair with the sewing thread as you can see. Just pull really tight and give another stitch to secure it. In this second stitch you need to take the needle out like um, far, like two stitches, one, one or one and a half or two stitches away from the first hair piece. So we have a space to put the next hair piece like this in that space, filling that space. So now the first stitch go over the hair piece and take it out in the same place we did before. Pull tight and give a second stitch to secure it but this time one stitch away from where you are so you will have an again you will have a space to put the next hair. Continue doing this following all the lines of stitches and decide if you want to jump or not one line of stitches every time depending on the weight of your yarn. Then uh, we are going to reach here like this. It's super bulky as you can see here. Uh, of course I'm going to remove a lot of material. I work the hair of my dolls like this like adding more than enough material to the head before to style it or comb it or finish the hair to get like a perfect scalp of my dolls with no spaces or empty uh, spots in between the hair. Before to work with the top part of the head we are going to comb and work with this part we have already. So we are going to work by line, separate the first line we made like this and this yarn you don't need to brush it with the metal brush you need a no normal comb like this and comb the yarn starting from the tips going up as you can see here we are going we are removing a lot of material already so what are we doing is just untwisting and this yarn is not twisted but you know what I mean um, the yarn to give that hair look. So continue combing the hair. You are going to remove a lot of material, don't worry, you can use it for other projects. Comb and comb until you have the volume and the texture you need for your hair. Also this is a good example for you to see the length, the maximum length you can achieve with this technique and with, with this yarn. So uh, for this doll, uh, it's a short hair, I'm going to cut here. Of course I am cutting it like not much, I am leaving it longer than I need at the end because still I need to brush it a lot and to trim it and style it so I, I, I leave it longer that I need at the end so I have like a space to work with all those details. Just keep, keep combat and then cut it in a v-shape like this on the sides. It doesn't have to be perfect at this point, we are going to perfect it later. And be sure to cover the body of your doll because this yarn can leave stains of your on your doll. Give this like vertical cuts to give a better look and also reduce volume. And combat again after that. 
You can come the hair also with a toothbrush, wet toothbrush, as you can see here I am doing. This will also remove the excess of material and it will straight the hair a little bit at the same time. Repeat the same process again and again and again. You have to be patient when working with hair, but it's fun. So comb it with the comb, with the toothbrush. Work like by layers. Until no more material is coming out and you have the volume you want. And then start just perfecting the shape and if you need to remove more material then you can use the metal brush like this so i'm showing you the techniques i use so you can use what is useful for your doll every doll requires uh, specific techniques for the for what you want to achieve now here I'm working with the next line of hair and I am doing the same cutting, then V shape, brushing, combing and I repeat the same with all the layers of the head I have, of the hair sorry I have. So here uh, every layer as you go up on the head every layer for this haircut every layer has to be longer than the previous one or I don't know I don't know anything about haircuts I just I'm just trying to give a shape here so now for this I'm going to uh, remark this line on the forehead and from that line I'm going to draw a vertical line here, not in the center, and another one here, not exactly in the center, like the center is in the middle of these two lines. And then make uh, like an inverted P shape, you know, something like this. And these are going to be the lines of hair for the top of the head, following this like uh, P shape. And then uh, lines around it you don't need to draw it because we have uh, rows there so these are the lines we need to follow for this part of the head I'm using a curved needle because it's easier for me to work so uh, do the same just follow the lines I told you stitching the hair pieces in the same way we did the back of the head In this case, I'm going, I am making the sides first. Now I'm going to make the center with the shape I told you and the front line of the hair so I'm going to start here I draw that V shape because um, for this doll I need to make a hairstyle with a line the line of the hair like in front like uh, on the top of the head but uh, this is usually this is the the lines we use in general to make wigs for dolls or attach hair to the dolls now you will have something like this now you only need to fill the empty spaces on the sides following the the shape of the rows once you do it then your hair, hair will be complete and you need to do the same with it for the for the back hair comb it and cut it i don't know much about about haircuts but i just uh, try to shape it and got this crazy shape i like it like this but it's um not the doll i have to make so i'm going to 
uh, give him a haircut. I am brushing and cutting like by layers, giving like uh, vertical cuts too. It's useful also if you combat in the with the hairstyle you will you will give at the end and based on that you will know where to cut more or less so now this process i am showing you like in a speed up here is uh, the process i follow for this specific doll so from this point is uh, totally up to you and on what you need for your doll obviously every doll will require a different hairstyle or or a different different color and volume of hair so for this doll i want something like with um with volume with enough maybe a little bit more than enough volume and straight hair So I'm working on layers here, again, combing and brushing with the techniques I show you already. I'm making it shorter every time, combing it on the final style I want to check the shape and where I need to cut more or reduce volume. So do this until you are happy with the result. Uh, don't worry to cut uh, for short hair and dolls. Don't worry to cut around the ears, like cut following the the shape around the ears, and then vertical cuts here. And if you need to reduce the volume, just give like random vertical cuts where you need it like this it's almost ready at this point and as you can see you can style it in different ways I will leave it like this And if you see the scalp, there's no empty spaces there. That is what I love of this yarn, that you can give like a very, like a good density to the hair of your doll. And also it looks like, like hair, like if I just um, synthetic hair, but uh, this one I can style it like more freely. At the end, my doll looks like this. And yours will probably look the same because if you are coming from the pattern, this is a tutorial for you and it's in your list of tutorials for your pattern. If you don't have the pattern for this doll and you want to make it, there you can find all the tutorials to make the doll from scratch, including the face, the hair and everything. I'm going to give you the link in the description box below this video and also any additional information you may need to make this hair. So be sure to check the description box and there you will find also my Instagram account. You can show me your dolls there and tag me in case you make them. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you the next time.